Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to Northern Monk and we're having a look at the uh, a can of the Don't Mess With Yorkshire Ale clocking in at 4.5% ABV uh, brewed for, I think it's sort of like a brand um, but I'm not sure if it came from Northern Monk or they existed before Northern Monk and Northern Monk just brewed a beer for them but uh, yeah, this is a uh, well obviously you can go check out Don't Mess, Don't Mess With Yorkshire don't mess with Yorkshire.co.uk or at Don't Mess with Yorkshire. There's some really nice t shirts and sweatshirts actually. Um, I think Northern Monk actually did a Manchester version where it's like Don't Mess with Manchester. Um, no, I'm not going to get it out because it's pointless and it's a little bit too small for me. Anyway, so yeah, I picked this up at uh, Morrison's while I was visiting Leeds. I picked this up with um, the Neapolitan Pale and the. Rapscallion, I think it's called, which is the uh, the Orange Zest IPA, which was just absolutely gorgeous. I love those IPAs, so I'll have to get some more. But yeah, um, I already had a can of this, um, but I didn't review it. And I'm not sure if I've had it before then. Um, I know you can get it in some of the bars and stuff. Uh, but yeah, my local Morrison's has a really wank selection of uh, craft beers. So I was very happy to pick this up as well as some of the other you know, notable ones. So there was like a Kirkstall. Um, New England IPA, which I just drank on the train home, which was all right. Um, I didn't see the Wild Beer Imperial Stout though, which I'm gonna have to next time I'm there have a quick look. But uh, yeah, so using my uh, Northern Monk um, breakfast IPA glass. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't even drank a beer in Belgium. Just had a pot pie with a uh, pickled onion. That's why. So, let's see what we get with this one. Pouring in nicely. Looking nice and turbid so far. But again, that could just be the cascading beer. Anyway, so let's get this all sorted now. Uh, beer in the glass then. And yeah, it's uh, turbid, sort of like chicken stock. It's a little bit dark. The light is coming through it quite nicely though. It's a little bit more clear towards the bottom. We get nice amounts of haze. One figure's worth of a nice fluffy white head. Let's see what we get on the nose. <sighs> Loads of sort of like mandarin melon sort of character. <sighs> like honeydew melon. Very subtle tropical mango aroma. There's a little bit of um, orange peel, orange zest, clementine juice. There's that slight bitter citrusy grapefruit aroma. And then you get lovely bready biscuity malts, just the right amount of sweetness. It's smelling damn good, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. And it's just a really nice sort of hoppy standard IPA. Um, you're not going to get the hop character of some of the, you know, the one-off releases that Northern Monk do, or you know, the likes of Heaven or some of their Patrons Project. You know, for a supermarket beer, you're getting all the hop character. A little bit more citrusy on the flavour than the nose would suggest. Yeah, definitely get a grapefruit zest character going going on in there. A little bit of a leafly, leafly, leafiness, slight herbal aspect. It's got a crisp, medium mouthfeel. But there's a little bit of creaminess towards the, the, the end of the gulp, if that makes sense. <laughs> the end of the gulp, fucking hell. But um, yeah, it's not the most exciting um, IPA that... Um, Oh, modern pale ale, I should say, not IPA. It's not the most exciting pale ale that Northern Monk do. But I think I paid £2.90 for a can of this. 440ml. Happily devour three cans of this in a sitting. Maybe even more, get carried away. And uh, yeah, I love just like the striking simplicity of the, uh, the artwork. Black background with bold white writing. Yeah, it's it's a really solidly brewed pale ale. Um, and if you go into it thinking it's got to be ram full of those you know, Northern Monk hop characters, 
then you're probably going to get a little bit disappointed. But if you just wanted a nice, crushable uh, pale ale, oh, there's my uh, Don't Mess With Manchester t-shirt. I love the refectory in Manchester. Um, even though I'm, I'm going to Leeds a lot regularly, a lot more regularly, uh, still not been to the, the Northern Monk uh, refectory in Leeds for a long time. I've been there a few times now when I've been drinking with Rob from Hop Scene. So, um, yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. Um, in terms of a rating then, I'm going to give that one um, a very solid 8 out of 10. I know that Northern Monk can brew much better um, pale oils and IPAs, not to say that this is a bad one. 8 out of 10, you've got to buy it anyway. But for a supermarket beer, absolutely bang on. Really, really nice. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Go check out Northern Monk as well as Don't Mess With Yorkshire. And of course, go check out my Northern Monk playlist as well on the channel because I've got quite a few reviews because I'm a little bit of a fanboy. Let's not even try to hide it. And yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers, guys.